This week, our heroes talk about their favorite scary movies. Is Subway Bread really candy? And Disney enters the ASMR game. All this and more on this week's episode of the CC Mouse Podcast. Uh, the podcast is coming from inside the house. Welcome to this week's episode of the CC Mouse Podcast. We are good for your ears. I'm Dan, and you can find me everywhere at RFS Dan. And I'm Jess, and you can find me at Gone to the Snow Dogs and Snow Dogs Blogs. Oh my gosh, we are back again in video form. You know, thank you to everybody that loved last week's video. People were pretty stoked. Okay, you know what? I can't sell. I can't sell that with cute dogs in the frame. Fresh off her nap because we took too long to podcast. She just looks here like a, a seal to me now. I'm here. Oh my gosh! For those of you that are listening to the audio version of this. Kira has made her way into the CC Mouse podcast as an honorary <laughs> guest. You guys are going to have to go to youtube.com slash CC Mouse podcast if you would like to look at this video. So cute. <laughs> but yes, thanks to everybody who loved our, our podcast. It's a lot of fun. Um, I thought it was really cool. It did really well. Yeah, I'm really glad that we finally like just did just it. Just did it. Just did it. Yes. And it'll like I said, it'll evolve as, as we get better at this. It'll definitely evolve into something great. It feels good. We're still we still have that space background. It still looks nice. So I'm 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 pretty excited. It wasn't even that much uh, harder to edit. No, and that that made me happy when you said that that it didn't yeah, take you not a ton of bad. extra time. We we own those skills. Yeah, yeah, we kind of do. We've yeah. been doing this a long time. Yeah, we own those. <laughs> Which is skills. why it was weird that we didn't just start with video in the beginning. But like I, I said, baby learn. steps. And I had to learn what a podcast was. What's a podcast? What's a podcast? <laughs> no, now we're good. Now we're we're still now in. Now we know. We're still in on round one before podcasts are oversaturated. You know, pretty soon people like Logan Paul will have a podcast. Oop, they already do. Or Shane say, Dawson's do. Uh, husband. Oh, they Ryland, have a podcast yep, too. He's got one too. They got the sip. Yep. They got the sip. And you know what? Hold on. We weren't even supposed to get into this, but let's work on it real quick. <laughs> Dude, so, so Ryland's been putting out videos, but Shane hasn't. Right. Because Shane's, air, I'm air quoting for all of you listening at home. Uh, he's been canceled. Yes. So I do see them slowly making their way back because time fixes everything. I listened to uh, Shane Dawson's story on Instagram. He's like, I'll be back. And then I noticed in the in, in Ryland's videos, he's like, I'll be back. So I know they're testing the water with the podcast. Um, their podcast was actually pretty good. I don't know if you watched his video or not on the podcast. I did. I actually, I did. I watched, uh, I watched the video good. yesterday. I think it was, and I, it was, it was really good. I love the podcast shed. Like I how know, right? cute was that? That's what I told Jamie I wanted when we were talking about building the shed out there. I'm like, I can get a little shed and I can put all the things in there and have this little room. As long as we don't make it look like a smaller version of the set of the view. Right. <laughs> you know, everything's so generic. Or, you know, everything's live, laugh, love, and everything's like Ikea looking, pure right. one imports in there. And I'm like, there's no style to that at all. They had nice equipment. I was so jealous of the equipment. Yeah. They spent yeah, at least five grand on that equipment. But the thing that concerned me about that video was that he said he was just going to do an audio podcast only. But the video podcast was amazing that they did to show you that they were making a podcast in his vlogs. They should just keep up the video podcast. And why do you have that beautiful set? If you're, if not you're not gonna, gonna have a video podcast, use it. <laughs> right? Right. That's what I was thinking too. I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, like I would die if right? we had the ability to do that. Like, <sighs> exactly. The topics they talked about, trash. Just <laughs> trash topics. Could you imagine us sitting here doing our count? Like, that's just ridiculous. I might. <laughs> I'm like, what is this podcast? So it immediately turned to trash, but the execution looked good. And I saw that it was up there pretty dang high up on that leaderboard right there. Yeah. It was up yeah, there next it, to Joe Rogan for first. It, it got popular quick. Well, I think yeah. people are, they're, curious. like you said, they're, they're, they're curious. They're mm. ready to hear if Shane's going to come back. And, you know, the longtime audience that they have is wanting them to make a return so i'm cu- i'm curious to see what's gonna happen it's, i'm curious as a as a person that is also a content creator right. um i've always been interested in the bounce back ever since charles trippy made his video of him breaking up with ali how are they gonna bounce back from that yep. um does anybody else who's done videos you know look at logan paul logan paul did the the japanese video that he got in a lot of yep. trouble with how did he bounce back so i'm very curious to see how the people are bouncing back i know that like that tati girl and and, and that uh, james charles james they're charles, all just yep. carrying on like it ain't no thing and i haven't been to their comments to see how much they're getting picked apart but at some point um the masses will focus on something else i think that that's true i think that at some point the the massive amount of people that are spreading the hate 
tend to die down and you get less and less and less of that. I don't think they right. ever go away for those people, but I also feel like a lot of those creators, they don't even read it anymore. You know, like wherever their most toxic comments are, they don't even read them anymore. They stick to the comments that aren't toxic because I still think they read that stuff, but I don't think it's it's not like it once was. That's true. That's true, too. And most of it, most most of the keyboard warriors are just kids. Yeah, they're kids. Yeah. Anyway, they're kids. They're stupid. The situation's stupid. So it breeds more stupidity. And then eventually it blows over. I mean, everybody's bounced back. The first bounce back ever I've yeah. ever seen was Pee Wee Herman. Yeah, I watched yeah. Pee Wee Herman bounce back from that popcorn incident <laughs> in the movie theater to when he came out on MTV a couple years later and just owned it. And then Paul Rubens yeah. was just back at it again. I'm like, wow, bouncing back, bouncing I mean, I back. Think the other thing is, is, and hopefully most people realize this, that there's are still people too. You know, some people That's do true. dumb things and make mistakes and learn from them. And people can learn from their mistakes. And I feel like most people do. You know, they may do something stupid, but I, I, I never really have thought that those types of mistakes define a person. Like, that's not who you are because you said something stupid on the internet. Oh man, we weren't even. This wasn't even on our agenda to talk about today. Um, as a <laughs> as a creator, I get it. It's hard. It's hard. It somebody is. somebody said like every. Somebody said oh, I'm gonna butcher this. It was uh, the more you open your mouth, eventually you're bound to say something stupid. Yep. And I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting. I'm waiting for the day where I say something stupid, something off colored, something not PG, and people get mad about it. Yep. You know, it'll happen. It'll happen. It'll happen. It'll happen to you. It'll happen to me. It'll happen to you at home. It's happened in your life. I've said stuff as a young adult that I've gone like, wow, why did I say that back then? Or why did I do that back then? Yep. But there's no consequences because, you know, it wasn't on the internet. You know, the internet wasn't even yeah, exactly. around. So it's, it's bound to happen. So you can bounce back because, you know, this is. This is how these people make money. You I know? think that you can bounce back when you do. I think they've made the right move. Like I think Shane made the right move. He just disappeared for a while. You okay, just gotta fine. wait. It. You just gotta wait yep. it out. Just wait you it out. Be mad at me. Be mad at me. He apologized, and if people can't accept that, that's you know that's one thing. But I feel like once you do, like you said, you wait for so long, and then you you make a return and see what right. happens. Test the water. They may still hate him, and we might not see him again for six months. Who knows? Oh yeah, he'll be he'll be. I, I think I think he'll be back with his stretched out he neck. He's he has been on the internet since before YouTube before all of you at home. <laughs> before yeah, all yeah. of you at home, he's been on there. <laughs> he has been, and I'm not talking about like what he did or what he didn't do. I'm talking about the consequences and the outcomes of trying to be a creator and the fallout yeah. of doing something that doesn't appeal to your audience or yeah. or something that gets taken you know taken out of context and. I don't know if that's out of context, but it's something that's right. taken. It's blown up. There's so many channels out there that are just hater YouTube channels, and yeah. all they do is spill the tea. And I am so sick of that Dane word tea. <laughs> I am sick of tea. I'm sick of spilling tea. I'm sick of sipping tea. I'm sick of here's the tea. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. Yeah. Do not take your long, sharp, pointy nails and click it on anything and talk about the tea anymore because I'm <laughs> I, I am over it. I think it's so, so I think it's so stupid, right? 2019, 2019. So <laughs> I, don't even, I don't even know how we got even thrown into this topic here. I don't either, but uh, hey, welcome to the CC Mouse podcast. <laughs> on that note, please don't cancel me. <laughs> and are you at home? Just don't cancel me. Don't, don't, don't cancel. cancel me. No, no, Ugh. no. So it's October, which is Halloween season. And this might be, uh, it's six days in, into October. I don't know if it's a little bit early to, to, to talk about this. But have you brought any of your Halloween stuff out yet, Jess? I have my stuff for the living room is all up and on my mantle. I couldn't bring a lot of it up because I can't put anything where Kira the demon dog can reach it because she'll eat it. That is so, true. You brought home a skeleton one day, and you tried to put it on top of the mantle. Mantle, and the first thing Kira did was look at the feet dangling down, going like, yep. "I'll see you later." Yeah. <laughs> so for this year, at least, I have all the stuff. Like I put all my pumpkins and stuff on the mantle, but I haven't done any of the outside stuff except for the thirty-eight pumpkins that a friend of mine dropped off for us. It Where are has those been raining. Just out front, okay. out in front of the house, okay. along with. Pretty much all of my neighbors have pumpkins this year, which is kind of cool. So I have found that it, over time, as, we, as we've been at this house, more and more and more people tend to do Halloween. There's a house right over there that I feel like at some point in time is really going to pull out all the stops and actually try to compete with us. Because 
they have a giant inflatable dragon and then they have another giant inflatable dragon they've got all and i'm talking like they're as tall as their house they have all these huge inflatables yeah so their house looks amazing but they always get their stuff up their outside stuff up before we do that's not allowed i know healthy competition is good but that is not allowed Part of the reason that we don't have our stuff up yet is, well, one, it was raining. Right. And two, Jamie has been gone almost every day trying to help his cousin get this house built because they need to get the roof up before winter. So yeah, it's been it's been interesting. I did pull everything out of the room. I just have to carry it upstairs. Well, it's and coming. I'll have the outside stuff. It's, it's coming. And you cannot let that neighbor take, take it over at all. I know. I don't care if you have to take your Jeep and go do some burnouts on their yard <laughs> just to kind of clear out that patch. But no. I was walking the dogs yesterday morning, I think it was, and the neighbor who lives across the street from me, who's an older lady, mm-hmm. she asked, she's like, are you doing, are you doing Halloween again? And I said, I said, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and go forward with it. And, you know, we're gonna ask people to, you know, socially distance and please wear a mask and all the things that they're going to request that we do. We're going to do, we're going to tell people, hey, we would appreciate it if you do these things. Um, we were talking about making one of those candy slides you've been seeing where you put the candy in the tube and it, they, they put the bag. In. Have you seen those yet? Yeah, I've seen those. They're pretty rad. So we were talking about um, building one of those with like a dragon's head at the base of it or something so that we can put the candy in it and it falls into the bags. We've talked about doing Ooh, that's that. Fun. Just, you know, it, it'd be cute too. Right. But, uh, but yeah, the neighbor asked if we were going to do it again and I said, yeah. And she's like, I'm so glad. She's like, I would just be, I'd be so sad if you didn't put on the display and people look forward to it. And I, I think we might try to set it up so that it's easier to see from the car is another part of our plan. Like, right. So it might not come up the driveway. It might just stay straight. Long. Yeah, that could work. Yeah. That could work because you could even do maybe even like three tiers of of, of pumpkins. On That's there. what we were talking about. We've got quite a bit of stuff. Jamie was talking about building like a staircase setup. Um, Greg's got some wood that he said we could have. Plus, we've got a bunch of scrap wood in the back too. Mm-hmm. So we were talking about right. building something to make it easier for people to see from the car, so that if they don't want to get out of the car, they don't have to. Yeah, please don't get out of the car. But we're we're definitely we're we're gonna do it again. We're gonna do it again. Well, if that's the case, then you need to ask that lady to come over and carve some pumpkins because I feel like you're yep. gonna have a lot less help this year. We definitely are gonna have a lot less help this year. But on the other side of that, Greg's now doing his odd jobs and stuff, so he'll be able to be here every day earlier in the day. Okay. Eric got a new job and he's off of work by five o'clock, and he already said he'll come over every day. So instead of only having a few people that are there once in a while, or like Greg wouldn't usually get here till almost seven o'clock every yeah, night, right? We have people that'll be able to be here earlier and longer, which is kind of nice. That'll be cool. So, okay. Yeah. 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 But I fly still... out for Halloween. What's that? <laughs> I said, do you want to fly out for Halloween? No. I don't want to see you. I just want you to come carve pumpkins. Right. You just want my arms to show up so I could pumpkin That's all carve. I want. No, I didn't carve as many pumpkins as I thought I would last year. No, I, I think that happens every year. Does that happen? Is that what everybody says? Like, I mm-hmm. don't think I was in a... Yeah. I still did I've a had, bunch, but yeah, I, did you a lot, did. I did a lot of talking. I have a I have a couple other friends of mine that are going to come up. Uh, Chris and Trisha from Sushi and Runt, I think, are coming up for three days. Oh, nice. So okay. Right. Instead of just the one day, I think they're going to be here three days. So, you know, when I started doing the counting and figuring out who was going to be here and who was going to help, we'll, we'll still have enough help. Yeah, you'll still have a ton of pumpkins. I mean, realistically, we've pulled off almost 100 pumpkins with, like, six of us, so I know we can do it. Right. Your arms die a little bit. I won't lie. Your arms, here's what happens. You go through an insane amount of tracing paper, and and don't forget to order more tracing paper this year. Yep. Because we didn't have enough last year. You go through a ton of batteries for the Dremel. Yep. You do go through a ton of batteries. And everything uh, pretty much smells like pumpkin. Everything smells like pumpkin. Mm -hmm. And and not pumpkin pie. No, and I have to figure out food for five nights because the rule is if that you come to my house crazy. and carve pumpkins, you're going to get fed. That was so, crazy. You're going to get yeah. fat. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I ate so much pumpkin carving food, but I had to burn off pumpkin carving calories. Right. You know? You know? She's back. Guess who's back? <laughs> She's like, let me outside. So back again. S- since it's October, I've been trying to do this thing where I've been trying to watch a scary movie every night. Right. And the other night, I'm like, I'm going to watch scary movies, but I'm like, I don't know, what was I trying to watch? I was trying to watch the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Um, We talked about it at some point. I don't remember if it was on this show, if it was on the live cast, if it was on Dan Ticks. At some point, (laughs) we talked about watching 
uh, Rocky Horror Picture Show. And oh yep. my gosh, that movie is hard to track down on any paid service. Like they want you to pay three ninety nine or you know, you know you can pay three ninety nine or whatever for it, but it's not like on Hulu. It's not on um, Amazon Prime. It's not on Netflix. They they make sure to take those heavy hitters. I've learned. Like I've watched, I've watched the idiots that moved over from television to the internet figure out the internet they're like well why yeah. should we have rocky horror picture show in october on netflix when we can charge 3.99 a pop for it because people are going to be looking and, for and it looking for it right right so i tried to find that for a while couldn't find it and for some reason i don't know why i can go spend a bunch of money on fast food but yet i don't <laughs> want to dump like three bucks into the rocky horror picture show God, isn't that the truth? Yeah, right? So it's so so weird, so weird. And and so I'm like, I couldn't find that. So I found Prom Night. I don't know if you've ever heard or seen of Prom Night. It was like Jamie Lee Curtis's, maybe it was Jamie Lee Curtis's like first movie. Really? Um, it's an iconic movie. It's about, I don't know, it's about these kids that some girl died and then some, some dude up the street got blamed for the murders and now he's back for revenge. No, I can't say that I've ever seen that. Right. And I'm not a Jamie Lee Curtis fan either way. Like, she was before my time, really, to be honest, and stuff like that. And she's okay, whatever. She was, like, 20 or 21 playing, like, a high school student. She looked 40. She looked 40. <laughs> it was so unbelievable. It was so unbelievable. So before I get into the movie, I need popcorn. I'm like, I can't watch this movie without popcorn. There was no popcorn in this house. So I'm going to go out to the store. I'm going to find some popcorn. It's like 940 at night. The store probably closes like at 10, 11 or whatever. Oh but I'm not gosh. going in there to order food. I'm just going to run in there and grab stuff. So I run into the store and, you know, the store is up the street. They know who I am because obviously I'm unique looking. So the manager dude's like, what's up, bro? How's it going? I'm like, I need popcorn. He points me to the popcorn. I'm like, all right. I get over to the popcorn area and I find Jiffy Pop. Oh, And God. I'm like, oh, my gosh, Jiffy Pop. And just in case you just crawled out from under a rock, Jiffy Pop is this little, this little like basket Magic. with a clothes hanger hanging off of it. Yeah, pretty much. And you cook it on top of your stove, and it pops up into this big old huge zeppelin, and then you put it into your bowl. So I'm like, this is rad. I'm gonna buy some microwave popcorn, and I'm gonna buy one of these Jiffy Pops because it's gonna be fun. So I grab some other candies and stuff like that. No good, n nothing really good. I grab some nerds and stuff. When right. I come home, I cook the Jiffy Pop, and oh my gosh, I haven't cooked Jiffy Pop since I was about 11 years old. So let me tell you <laughs> what happened last time I cooked Jiffy Pop. And this was like probably like 19, like 90. Oh God. We have this cabin up in Big Bear that we went to, and I'm in the house, and my parents are on the dock, 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 the like uh, balcony area, drinking some wine, doing whatever old people do. <laughs> they probably had a charcuterie, char charcuterie board. Chartreuse yeah, board. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. I had, have no had, idea how to say that word. They had cheese and snacks. They had a meat and cheese tray. Yes, disassembled <laughs> sandwiches is what I like yes. to call it. They had yes. disassembled sandwiches that they were snacking on. And my friend David and I were inside making Jiffy Pop. So I'm cooking it up there, and the next thing I know, the whole thing lights on fire. And seriously, it's like the Zeppelin. The whole thing's on fire. I don't know what to do. I start panicking because you know me. Like I, I am immature. You're so a deer in headlights. I'm a you. You said that like not too long. You've said that a few times lately. I am kind of like because that's what you are. <laughs> deer in headlights. So I'm standing there. Something happens and you go. <laughs> if you can't that's see, <laughs> you were doing nothing. <laughs> you look like Skype locked up. Yeah. Right. Right. So. <laughs> So I'm locked up. I'm standing there. I'm in an old cabin. And this old cabin looks like it's flammable as heck. Like Probably. to the point where like if you've seen a Christmas story, I have to go in there and manually screw in fuses to turn on the power and stuff there. So I'm there. Oh, yeah. It lights on fire. I don't know what to do. I'm 11 going on 9. My friend David, he was much, much, much more mature than me. I don't know why he was my friend. Much more <laughs> mature than me. Takes the flaming Jiffy Pop and puts it into the sink. Saves the day. My parents come running in. So since then, I have not touched Jiffy Pop. And yes, the Jiffy Pop burn. So I'm like, I'm going to have Jiffy Pop redemption. Face your fears, Dan. Oh Face my your gosh. fears. So I start cooking this Jiffy Pop, and it's pretty rad. Like, you're cooking on the fire, but man, that thing gets hot, right? And I did yeah. vlog this. So yes, there will be a vlog of me cooking Jiffy Pop. So I cook this big old thing of Jiffy Pop. I pour it into the, I pour it into the basket. I'm stoked to eat Jiffy Pop. I did it. I conquered my fears. It's, you know, I am man. I ripped off my shirt like I was Hulk Hogan. I was like, yeah. <laughs> okay, I didn't do that. Um, it was the worst popcorn ever. It was so chewy and so weird that I threw it out 
and ended up making microwave popcorn. It was probably so, stale on the shelf. I think, you know, it probably was. So at home, if you guys ever think about getting Jiffy Pop, you definitely should. And you definitely should try it. And you should try it for your family. You should have fun with it. And then you should immediately throw it in the trash can <laughs> and get some microwave popcorn or her or whatever. Rent a Jamie out so he can make you some popcorn. But oh, Jiffy Pop popcorn. ended up being disappointing. But I had so much fun cooking it. So <laughs> much fun cooking it. It's funny that you bring up popcorn because I was um, watching TikToks. Because I never do that. And right. <laughs> there was a girl on TikTok that found four uh, popcorn recipes from, like, the 40s or something crazy. And I don't know if they were her grandma's or whatever, but she had them. Ri- they were written on these little cards. And one of them was mint popcorn. And Ooh, she said, tell. she goes, that just sounds disgusting. And the way you had to make it was, like, a half a stick of butter. Okay, And I'm you in. needed, like, 28 York peppermint patties. Oh, my gosh. And you melted the York peppermint patties and the butter. Okay. Okay. Made the popcorn and then drizzled it all over the popcorn. So it was kind of like chocolate and stuff all, all, yeah. all over it. Yeah. And uh, hmm. she said it was amazing. And now twice I have looked at the bag of York peppermint patties and went, I wonder if I could make that. <laughs> what is the stuff in the middle of the peppermint? It's like, I don't know, peppermint sugar stuff? Peppermint. See, because I like... The only really peppermint that I'm familiar with is like schnapps and like the Kit Kat. <laughs> I'm more into mint than peppermint. Is peppermint like a plant or a tree? Or... Yeah, it's a leaf. It's a leaf on a plant yeah. or a tree? On a plant. Okay. It doesn't grow like sugar canes. It's like just yeah, I on wish a plant. I could. Have... My mom and dad have spearmint gl- growing in their yard, which is similar. I bet she eats it. I bet, mom, I bet you like eat it straight. <gasps> what do you want, Memphis? <laughs> <laughs> so. So I think you should try that. I would try it. I I'm I I want to. So I don't know. Maybe Jamie and I will watch more Cobra Kai tonight, and we'll make popcorn. Yeah, maybe you sh- you should try that. So I watched Prom Night. It was the cheesiest movie, obviously from like the late seventies. There was like I said, there was like a ten minute disco scene in there where they're disco dancing and. <laughs> I don't even know. It was just so, it was so bad. I love these bad cheesy movies. We have the three strike rule in the house here where we each get up to three strikes and we'll put on a movie and something will happen. I'll be like, that's strike one for me right there. And something else will happen. And I'll be like, that's strike two. And then, so we have, you know, and it's, and, and the three strikes is law. After three strikes, right. we're turning off that movie, you know, so right. it almost didn't make it through the three strikes. But it's hard because I feel like horror movies need the three strikes. Like, dude, if you're not making a crappy horror movie, then what are you doing? Because, like, is there a legit horror movie that is not supposed to be crappy that's like, look, I'm really flexing my horror muscles? Or are right. they all supposed to have some sort of level of just, like, what is going on here? I don't watch a lot of horror movies because it's not – that's a genre of movies that I just don't – I just don't really watch. Um, but yeah, I mean, most of them that I watch are pretty, you know, that I have watched have either been really bad or really cringy. I don't like this bad gore. Like, I don't have nothing against Rob Zombie, but I don't like, I don't care about any of the Rob Zombie joints because it's gore for the sake of gore, and that's fine. People like are like hardcore gore people, or you have your tattoos right. of all like the studio monsters on your, on your arm and stuff like that, and you're like a gore person. I don't like, I don't like that. I don't either. I like the cheesy old stuff that's cheesy. And for some reason, I really love the first two paranormal activities. For some Like the Monty reason. Python gore? Yeah, th- at least that's the funny. Fa- you know, fake. If I can see that you're pumping... Yeah, right. If I can see that you're pumping the blood Sweeney out... Todd. And it's squir- yeah, like squirting out like Sweeney Todd. That was funny. That was funny yeah. to me. But I'm not like a House of a Thousand Corpse type kind of person like i said paranormal activity did it for me the like anti-scare scare scare thing of just it it being creepy without any effects or like uh blood right Right. i like that so anyway so i'm still on the quest to watch more crazy horror movies if you guys know any that you think i should watch that are super cheesy let me know do you have a favorite do you have a favorite like halloween time movie and 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 i know i know what you're gonna go for do you go ahead you know you can go ahead and say i know you love the night beer before christmas yeah, that's the best Halloween movie. Right, but do you like anything else that's cheese? What was that one? The very first time I came out there, like, almost four Cannibal years ago. Cannibal the Musical. Cannibal the Musical? Yeah, that's the one we watched with you the first time you came right. out Right, so you like stuff like that. Like, just like... Let's spill the snowman. Yeah, like Yeah, Cannibal like the cheese. Musical's great. Yes, <laughs> yes. Speaking of that, I did watch... Uh, what was that? Silence of the Lambs. That's the Hannibal, Cannibal, Hannibal, Cannibal yes, movie. Yes, yes. I did have that on the other day, and I thought maybe I saw it when I was younger or whatever, but it was on again, and that movie is awful. 
I've never seen it. Oh my Jamie gosh. Jamie has seen it. I have never seen it. It's awful, but it's got all those famous one-liners. It puts the lotion in the box. It and then, puts the lotion on its skin. Yes, and it said that, and I saw the person. I was like, oh my gosh, that's from the thing. And then yeah. obviously it has good. Well, I got to get Come on. Goodbye, horses. <laughs> you know, if you've seen the movie, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Anthony I Hopkins think... is okay. It was it was interesting movie. Definitely a 90s movie. The other, like, I don't even know if they're, like, considered horror movies that I've watched. I've watched The Birds, which is terrifying. Oh, is that the um, Alfred Hitchcock movie? Yeah. Okay. Yep. I've seen that one. I don't um, think I've seen I've seen, seen Psycho. I've seen right. uh, Cujo. Cujo is probably, I, I could watch that movie because I grew up with St. Bernard's, and I always, I don't know why I like that movie because oh. I grew up with St. Bernard's. Rest in peace, Cujo. And then, I loved you. I did like Christine, and I did like the original, the original Pet Cemetery. I didn't mind the original Pet Cemetery. I thought that was pretty unique too. I I, I like that one. Christine oh, was a movie about Night a car. Li- yes, Christine was a movie about and, a car. Um, Cujo was, was um, Ali Sheedy was like stuck in a car <laughs> the yeah. whole time with, and with the dog the, was trying to eat her with that one. Yeah, I thought that was a Rottweiler. I didn't realize that that was a Saint Bernard. In it's that a Saint movie. Bernard. Yeah. Oh okay. And then okay. Um, Night of the Living Dead. Is the other one. Like the original one? You know, I haven't the seen original... that. And that's the invention of the zombie, right? Yes. The original Night of the Living Dead. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to watch that. I am this year interested in the mythology that goes through making these older movies. That's why I wanted to watch Prom Night because that was such a such a popular right. movie. And I I will watch the original Light of Night of the Living Dead. We're all in the house taking turns picking which movie we watch. So I think right. I'm gonna try I'm gonna I think I'm gonna try that one. I think that one might be that might one That's a good. A it's cool a good one. movie. It really is. Like it's a. It's. I mean, not like a. Oh my gosh! It's such a good movie, but it's worth watching. Is it? It's okay. definitely worth watching. I'll, I'll I'll check that out. So I do as a, like a person who likes film and 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 I don't care about the content. I care about how the content went. You know how the right. content is made. I'm interested to see how they made the Night of the Living Dead. Right, right. I, I am I am interested in that. So anyway, I'll have to check back in with you guys next week to let you know uh, what movies that I've been watching. Uh, with scary movies that I've been watching next. And if you guys are watching any scary movies in October or have any recommendations, leave us a comment and maybe I'll watch your movie. Yes. Yes. So speaking of uh, shows, the new South Park came out and we talked about the South Park last week a little bit. Uh, Nobody wants to talk about the pandemic special. (laughs) Oh my gosh. That was the greatest. And just like we talked about last week, way to... Way to go South Park. Nobody needs a pandemic special. (laughs) For having a commentary on what is going on in this world. It was... Didn't you... Can you picture them sitting at that desk saying that we can't do a pandemic special? Nobody wants no, a pandemic. Nobody needs a pandemic no way special. That they said that. Nope, there is no way they said that. They said that pandemic is going to get us paid. I know them right now. <laughs> After watching that South Park documentary, I know them. They are more than stoked for the pandemic in the yep. in the way of content. Yes, and they yes. delivered. They delivered. God, they really did. They it de- was so good. They delivered. Whether you're offended by it or not, they told you it was good. What, what it was. So. Way to go, South Park. You guys can watch this for free on South Park Studios. I love that South Park is still able to take their content and people still find it funny. Even when they are offensive, they still find it funny. Because it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be funny. It's supposed to be a joke. It's supposed to be. Right. And I, it's, it's interesting that like if somebody else tries to do that, they're canceled. But South Park, people are like, oh, it's just South Park. It just depends if you get it or not. It's like right. if you don't get if you don't get what the definition of comedy is, then you're not gonna like stuff like this. If you're easily offended or anything like that, then I mean don't obviously it's broken. But <laughs> like, but you have to understand what comedy is, right? And uh, I thought it was great. I did too. I, I loved it. I we sat here and watched it. And I, I knew it was gonna be good. Soon as it was, soon as it was an hour long, I knew it yeah. was gonna be good. I knew it was gonna be. I'm good. really interested to see where they take it. This week, with everything that has happened in the past seven days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when you're seeing this, that's tonight. That's Wednesdays, right? Yeah. Wednesdays, yeah, or tonight. you can see it the next day for free on South Park Studios. They have no problem throwing that out there for free for all you guys. I the love next that day. they do that. Me too. Me too. I they have enough they had an app. money and stuff that it just doesn't matter. Yeah. You know, there, there's still ads in it, but it, it doesn't matter. So I thought that was I thought that was good. Uh, yeah, I'm going through too. my notes here because my podcast is 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 I live by the notes. Um, speaking of videos, your Apple video that you made on Gone to the Snow Dogs channel, which is almost to 1 million. Oh my gosh. We were what, like only 7,000 away from a million? I don't know. 
Let me let me check him. You the look why why I talk you up a little bit. So just made this okay. video of the dogs bobbing for apples and little tiny pumpkins, which was the best. <laughs> Memphis grabbed this pumpkin, and that was her pumpkin. That was her pumpkin, that and it was, was the pumpkin. only one. Like I kept putting it back. I have multiple clips, but I kept putting it back in the water to see if she would grab a different one. Oh, and she did. Just that one. She wanted <laughs> just that pumpkin. Just that pumpkin was hers. It was so good. I loved it. It was so cute of them just pulling out the things. I could not, I, I couldn't imagine. Maybe I liked it more because I can't, my cats aren't pulling anything out of anything. Maybe a fish. Maybe a, <laughs> yeah, maybe a goldfish. But yeah, I thought that was so, I thought that was so cute. Where are you at on, where are you at on subscribers? Um, 7,200 away. Wow. That's crazy. That's almost down to the sixes. Yeah. Holy cow. Holy cow. Yeah. No, you might be getting a right? good. You might be getting a good either Halloween present or birthday present. I'm at 993885. Did I do that math right? 993885. Yeah, so you're almost to the four. So you're yeah. almost 6,000 and change yeah. away, which is really good. Good. Yeah. You keep going yeah, because crazy? of all of you at home that are watching and subscribing and thumbing up or down. You know? Or down. You know, Just either watch. Way. As long as it you're telling matter. somebody to subscribe, do, then. Do they happy. matter? Do they matter at all? Uh, no, they used to matter on YouTube. Uh, likes and dislikes used to matter a lot. And comments used to be weighed very heavily. But um, the way their algorithm is now, that stuff doesn't actually matter like it used to. The likes and dislikes don't right. make any difference on YouTube. Right. Do you remember like the old Charles Trippies days with like, hey, hey, leave banana in the comment just so you know you got this far in the video. And yep. everybody leave bananas. And then they would have comments and that comments would go, always game in the system. The, that was part of it. The reason that they, they stopped doing that is because it was really easy to game the system with using bots to leave comments and do likes and things like that. So right. YouTube would think your video was getting engagement when it really wasn't. So it's, they kind of put a they put an end to it. It's so neat. There's so much underworld stuff that goes on behind the fluff that you see in the videos. Even our videos. There's strategy to everything in a, yep. in a cute way. And yeah. I think it's cool. I think it's I think it's cool. So when I make my videos and stuff, here's how I do videos. I make my video, I upload the video as private, and then Jess plays the YouTube game yep. <laughs> of keywords and tags and analytics and hey, take a picture of you making this face and do this thing and review this next. And it's it's so interesting. It used to be I and mean, this is what hurt me. I would never chase the trends. I would just make the videos that I wanted. I'm true to me. Right. I'm making videos because I love making videos, but right. apparently I didn't love money. If you love money and making <laughs> videos, you're going to do things. You're going to dump a bucket of ice on your head. You're going to shave one of your eyebrows off. You're going to drink um, a bunch of Sprite while you eat a banana. You're going to yeah. do all these things. Pretty much. Which is kind of what mean, I've been doing lately. And the thing is, is you don't have to like trend chase to make it work but every once in a while you do have to pick a trend that works within what it is you want to be doing and mold it into something within your space and right. if you can kind of follow that line make what you want to what you want to make create what you want to create because you like it but at the same time every once in a while you've got to give youtube what it wants to stay relevant you otherwise do. Otherwise, you're not relevant anymore. Yeah. And you're right. It didn't used to be like that. It used to be a lot like TikTok. The TikTok algorithm is the greatest algorithm ever, period. Fight me on it. Like for it now. is as it, of, for, as of, you know what, though, October it's 6th. working and it's working very well for everybody I've known that has tried to that has actually put a little bit of effort into a TikTok channel. It works. It really does. Once you find something that works on there and you can stick to it. TikTok goes, make more of this. Okay. And as soon as you make more of that, you blow up. You literally blow up on TikTok. So, and I feel right now, like if you're looking for a platform to grow on, of all the platforms, if you want to grow somewhere, grow there first and oh, then push everybody to. Still champion. That, green, that green screen might uh, might come down. That's cool. I hope so. If so, I'm punching you up on a single shot. They're, here so they're seriously, they're wrestling <laughs> right behind me. Yeah, wow, you're still down for the TikTok. Here's the thing about the algorithm. Um, I people... am. I am still. I I still believe that TikTok is an amazing platform. I have watched people that I watched months ago who now have millions of subscribers who are now doing this as full time content creator content creators who have took their TikTok audience, sent them to YouTube. Now they have monetized YouTube channels. They have merch stores. They are doing everything and they're making what they love, and it's working. 
I always love the success of any person that can sit at home and turn their phone on themselves and yeah. take advertising revenue for themselves. That's why I, I'm always stoked about you. Like, you're just a regular average person and you've been able to build what you've built on something that 20 years ago would have only been capable if you were a big corporation or a big yeah. channel and stuff. So I, yep. I, I, I do like that. I do like that. As far as the algorithm, the people that do the algorithm, you and I have been to a lot of conventions. We've been to a lot of places. We've been lucky enough to be in circles of a lot of important people high yeah. up on YouTube, like insanely high up on YouTube. Yeah, Never, like ever, Lauderbeck. ever, ever, ever once have I ever met anybody that works in the algorithms that works behind the scenes there. How about you? Have you met anybody at all that has anything to do with how any of that stuff works? Nope. Where are these people at? They have, nobody knows how it works. Didn't you watch Wreck-It Ralph Breaks the Internet? Yes. Ralph and that was a yes. Nobody knows how it works. But nobody somebody it made works. it. These robots the aren't algorithm. sentinel. almighty <laughs> algorithm. So who are these people? Do you get to not go? I, if I, I would be strutting around VidCon or VidSummit <laughs> right? as like, I'm the one that says if it's a yes or a no. And if your thumbnails need to have one or two or four sets of eyes in there, you know, yeah. so I have never seen anybody that's in charge of the algorithm. So I'm so curious on how that works. I don't even know if YouTube has videos at all about explaining anything at all. Nope. You don't nope. see any former employees. I used to do the algorithm five years ago, and here's how it works. I don't see anybody. And it changes. People don't understand how often it changes. I mean, you and I went to Vid Summit. We, we went to a lot of talks on it with people from YouTube. And right. um, I don't know if you remember them saying that. It can change over 100 times in a yes. month. Yes, yes. In a month. A hundred changes. Mm -hmm. So the minute you think you figured it out, guess what, buddy? You didn't. You didn't figure you it didn't out. You didn't figure There's it out. There's seasonal YouTube channels. There's a reason your channel becomes what's considered a seasonal YouTube channel. And that's what you were talking about just like yesterday you and I were talking yeah. about that. And that's a new one to me until you said it yesterday. And it makes sense. Yeah. Look at you. Yep. Your analytics are a roller coaster. Yep. 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 And you can also, you know, you can look and you can watch. If you've done this for long enough, you can actually look and you can see, okay, I know... This is the time when this needs to go out. This is the time when I need to upload this. This is the time when I can slow down a little bit because everything's not going to get seen as well. Like right. over time, when you really learn to study all of those numbers and study everything you're doing, you can kind of figure it out. But the minute you figured it out, guess what? They're going to change. It. A good example, and I'm putting you on the spot here, is those camping videos in the vlog channel. Yeah. Yep. Those things tanked. Those things sucked. And how exciting and fun was it for all you yep. guys to watch us go camping? We had a great time. There was me in there. That usually doesn't happen. The dogs were getting able to run around. We saw waterfalls. It was beautiful. We had all the things that needs to make up any of the videos. What are the video that you put out before that was? You were just at your house. Uh -huh. And why? Why? Who knows? We don't. Why? And part of it is because, so, like, my videos on the vlog channel are normally a certain length. The minute I upload something that's different and doesn't hit within that average length, right. I'm going to lose viewers because the video is now too long. They don't have enough time to watch it. So the first couple that I uploaded were too long. So then I started splitting them up. But mm -hmm. by then, if people didn't watch the first one, they weren't ready to watch the second one. They weren't ready to watch, you know, so like, because unlike our regular vlogs, the camping vlogs kind of go in a series and it's kind of one big long story. It's not, I think it's nine videos total or 10 videos total that ended up on it. Um, but I have found that the videos that went up last week or so from the camping videos are slowly starting to hit where the normal videos would be. And I think it's because people are finding the time to start back at the beginning and actually watch them all the way through. Yeah. But yeah. People beg us for camping videos and travel videos. And whenever we put up camping and travel videos, they never perform as well as just regular right. videos. The core audience loves it. The core audience but loves it. And I'm not saying it's not the audience's fault. It's YouTube. No, it's, it's the content right. that I've that I'm uploading. Sorry, that's probably really loud. The content that I'm uploading changed mm -hmm. and the algorithm goes, we don't know what to do with this. This isn't what you normally upload. We don't know what to do with yes. this. Maybe we'll just so because push I'm it not off to the side. Yeah, because I'm not a travel channel yeah. niche. That's not what we are because we're a vlog channel, which is different than a travel channel. It just doesn't know what to do with it. And it's until so it figures confusing. out where to go. It's confusing. It's, it's confusing. Life. But here's what confuses me. Like, I understand what you're saying is like, you need to get in that on, on episode one of this camping trip. Otherwise, who cares? Uh, and, and it bombs. But then you look at the Marvel Universe. They had four, five, six, seven, eight oh. years of movies. But yet it all compiled into uh, Avengers Endgame, which was the top grossing movie of all time 
Yeah. How did that work if people didn't get in in the beginning and they just gave up? You just never know. So it makes you rip your hair out. The conversations yeah. that we have on the sides are crazy sometimes, yeah. you know? <laughs> yeah, it's a bad relationship. Sometimes YouTube loves me. Sometimes YouTube breaks up with me. Yep. And that's, you know. So and, crazy. And, you know, I have talked so many friends of mine off the ledge when it has come to, you know, getting texts from creator friends of mine or Facebook messages where they're like, I'm going to quit. This is what's happening. And then you go in and you look and you go, look, it. Look at what happened last year. The same thing happened. You just got to write it out. You can't freak out about it. You know, it's the beginning of the month. Advertisers have less money at the beginning of the month. So your ad dollars drop at the beginning yeah. of the month. How do I know that? Because I've been doing this for almost 11 straight years and I've seen this pattern happen. Like there's there's so much that goes into it that people just don't. You know, right. don't January understand. is the saddest month of all. January is the saddest I month hate of all. January. I had somebody the, I had somebody the other day use that famous line and said, "Well, you don't really work. You just stay at home and play with your dogs all day." And I, I just bite my tongue and I go, "Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. That's all I do." Yep. Just forget if there could be a, com a camera sitting here watching what I do on a daily basis, you guys' minds would be blown. Yeah, and it's hard <laughs> for you to bite your tongue. <laughs> it is hard for me to bite, especially when people say that to me. Well, you just play with your dogs all day. It's not like you really have to oh my work. Gosh, your, you job, just... your job is easy. I got told that the other day. My job is easy. You just take clips from your security cameras and just put yeah, them right? on. Yeah, <laughs> oh right? Right now gosh. I'm trying to podcast and what's going on. I have two dogs wrestling under <laughs> my feet. Why? Why? Because we went for a walk and apparently... Oh, no. You can't, I can't believe walk. you said that word. So let's get into a story that... Neither can Wait. I. <laughs> since, since we're talking about all this, I need a good thumbnail for this story and a reason for people to, other than the core audience to click on us. So we have to talk oh. about a story that's going to get us a good thumbnail. So you guys are going to want to click on this. Subway. <laughs> eat fresh. <laughs> eat fresh. <laughs> Subway. Eat cake. Sort you of. could eat cake. Eat sugar. <laughs> Subway in Ireland had a ruling against them that says Subway's bread is not actually considered bread. Jess, what's going on? Right? Yeah. So apparently it has too too much sugar in it. So it's a donut or a cake. I love but it. But it's not bread. I love it. I love it. I love it. So a decision shocking to those familiar with the $5 footlongs. Ireland's <laughs> Supreme Court has ruled that Subway's bread isn't actually bread red apparently 10 percent of the weight of the flour according to the judgment is sugar and that makes it not bread it makes it a cake that makes it a, a cake a cake and and i find this irritating disgusting i am so mad i'm so mad at fast food places right now like it's, it's just so Doesn't it it's make so you want to go eat subway i don't know because i have a love hate with subway I don't like Subway. I think it's disgusting. I have a love hate with Subway. Like I love their meatball sandwiches, but at the same time, like sometimes when I eat Subway, I get sick. Um, I yep. did have Subway on our trip because you know when we're out there camping, like I don't know what's out there, and I don't know if yeah. we're gonna have another place to stop. So I didn't eat a, eat a Subway sandwich, and it was good enough and stuff like that. But I'm just, it's just the everybody's deceived. Like why yeah. can't it just be bread? Why does it have to be so much sugar? Well, I know it's because we'll love it and we'll want to come back and eat it more because sugar is a drug. Pretty yep. much. And I love sugar. You know? I saw somebody tweeted, We will not be lied to. From now on, they will have to be described as cakes with ham in them. Ew. Ew ham no. cakes. Ham cakes. So it's frustrating. No. You know, Subway got in trouble not too long ago when they um, they had to remove this. I don't even. I can't even see the, say the name. Azo diocarbonite the chemical found in yoga mats they were putting that inside oh. the bread as a softener for their soft bread they don't care about humans they don't care about our lives they don't care about anything so i am not surprised and i don't know what subway has to do about it but here's where it's like well hey dan why don't we just put up a sign that says like hey you're pretty much eating sugar in the bread that's not the problem that people are mad about the supreme court is not even mad that they're lying about their bread the supreme court is mad that such things as like um breads or essential foods get zero tax oh and yes that's the thing so so essentials so it's the tomato is a vegetable not a fruit thing that's what that's, it, a, that's what it is Right. Yes. Yes. And if people don't know what you're talking about, we, we talked about this off camera. Well, we're I think it was you, Greg, Jamie and I were sitting yeah, around talking yep. about is is a tomatoes a vegetable or not? And it what we decided it was not a vegetable. Tomato is. Ooh, that sounded damaging. 
are crazy. A tom- a tomato is a fruit, but right. What was it like in 1870 or 1890? Supreme mm-hmm. Court ruling ruled that tomatoes are actually a vegetable because you could tax them more, and they were losing right. money on imports and all these things on tomatoes. So they actually ruled. This, there was yep. a Supreme Court ruling that tomato is a vegetable because they make more money if it's a vegetable. That's all. Yep, yep. It's all about money. Nobody cares mm-hmm. if if you're if, if it affects you or not. They want their money. The country yep. allows quote unquote staple foods in which it includes bread to have a value added tax set at zero percent. So now they're going to be taxed for their bread, and they're going to be you know back taxed or, or whatever is going to go on. So it's all about money. Nobody cares about our health. It had nothing to do with the fact that it has too much sugar in it. Right, right. So that being said, I am sick and tired and fed up about being lied to about fast foods, about being lied to about the way home. We're, I'm punching me up on one. About being lied to about how they look when they're deceptive. I got a crunch wrappy theme yesterday and it didn't look <laughs> nothing like the picture at all. Who knows if there's Play-Doh inside of it at all. I am so sick and tired of you fast food places. And that being said, anymore. <laughs> that being said, make sure you guys go to youtube.com slash RFSDan where you can see my latest fast food review video that I just made <laughs> on the Taco Bell Crunch Box. Oh, look at that thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> that thumbnail is beautiful. Thank you, Jess. So, yes, please go and like all my food reviews. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh yes. And maybe we should just do a review where I buy some subway bread and uh I don't know what we can do with it. Compare it to cake. You could put Compare frosting it to cake. on it. I could, you it could probably put taste frosting good. On it, and then you could get like so make cupcakes oh and my then gosh. or like pound cake or something and then take the subway bread and put frosting on it and then make Crystal and Blake try it. And see if they see like if it. They can see if they can figure out if it's not cake. And I'm a big fan of the Subway bread. I do like their Subway <laughs> Subway bread. I do. I do. I do. But I, oh my I gosh! I will eat Subway when we're traveling if there's not like an easy, quick, small like mom and pop shop to buy from. I will right. do Subway if I have to. But I think their food is bland and boring, and and I'm spoiled it because is. my family owns a restaurant, and I know what meat's supposed to taste like, and I also know that it doesn't magically come shaped in these perfect shapes that you can perfectly <laughs> lay out. Oh, right. Fuck. Well, that's why you have the machines for to cut them in those perfect uh, shapes. Greg, yeah, Greg, Greg yeah, knows. That's... I did recently give up. Uh, I made a conscious decision the other day to give up on store purchased lunch meat that are prepackaged in there because it just yeah. tastes like preservatives. And yeah. then so so this just happened, you know, coincidentally that we're talking about this. This just happened the other day. So I go to the store and I go up to the deli counter and she's like, can I help you? And I'm like, yes, no longer will I be pigeonholed <laughs> into buying prepackaged cut lunch meat. I would like some fresh stuff. And I look down and it's ten ninety nine a pound for some roast beast. Yep. And I'm like, I'll just take a quarter pound, ma'am. So she got me some new meat, and it finally tastes good like me. I'm 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 yeah. done with prepackaged junk. If you and if you well, I mean, it's part of the other thing is you get what you pay for. There's there's lunch meat from the delis at at uh, grocery stores that are not any good for you either, and that are not very good. But they have right when you find the more real stuff that's there, you definitely uh, will be much happier with it than the stuff you buy in the little plastic containers. I, and I already, I already am. I'm staying away from the Jenny O. I, mean, I went up a little higher, but I yeah. got some like chicken, and it looked good. It looked like it looked like chicken i no longer yeah. buy frozen stuff uh like frozen pre like frozen breasts of chicken or anything like that i'm sick of it just being all full of water weight i started buying fresher stuff and even oh, that yeah, i can see- tell that they just soak them in water to add yeah. weight to them yeah I, I i always buy um i just bought chicken today they had chicken on sale at meyer and it was a dollar 88 a pound and i always buy it when <laughs> in the big family packs <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to attempt this. If you guys are listening to this Here, and I'll punch actually you up. watching this. I'll punch you up on one. Jess is going to move the camera. camera enough. I can, uh, I can widen you up a bit. Watch this. Oh, no, I can't widen you up anymore. Okay, so uh, there they are. Yep. Can you see them? Nothing the to see here. I, I, I see yeah. Kira's on top of uh, Memphis trying to bite her neck. Nothing yep. to see here. Nothing to see yeah. here. That's They're literally just, what they've been doing for the past 15 exactly minutes. That is exactly what goes on every day here with <laughs> Mouse and Rizzo. Every yeah. day. Every yeah. day. You say, this is kind of in the way. I, I don't know if I can move it. Oh, you're, you're good. You're right. good. There and the, go. and they're running around like they're not like 40-something pounds. Yeah. Yeah. This is, uh, this is, and we already went for a WALK today, and we went around twice, and she's going to sit on her. 
Mm-hmm. Get it. She's gonna. She knows. I love it. <laughs> she sits what she's doing. She's sitting on it. Yeah, it's like a uh, it's like a sour patch kid. Uh, sweet on the outside. Yeah, yeah. That's sour, sour, uh, sour on the inside. Oh yeah. my! Oh my gosh! Yes. Welcome to my life. Yes. So one more thing, so we could use this for a thumbnail on our podcast. Full disclosure before we get out of here. Disney Plus has entered oh the ASMR game. And before we get started on this topic. Just an hour ago, when Crystal was here for lunch, she sent me a video, and it was a microphone in the cat food bowl while the cat was just eating the food. And she's just like, I don't get this. And I'm like... I don't either. Well, here's the deal. It's a moneymaker for some weird reason. Yep. Um, Crystal thinks it's... I don't have the right word for it. That's like like, fe- like fetishy? I, I think for some people it is, but I think for other people, like... Like, I like to listen to music. You like to listen to podcasts. Some people just like to listen to other people's voices, and it calms them down. Um, I think for some people, it actually is that heightened... Um, like heightened sensory. Yeah, heightened senses. It's heightened yeah, senses. Yeah. Um, I have that I actually, to a degree. I, I have a friend of mine who absolutely loves ASMR videos, and that's what he he listens to them, and he listens to them while he's working. And that's what he says. It's kind of just this weird thing that calms him down, which, I mean, hey, whatever, whatever floats right. your boat. I, I have it's that water. Too. Water floats boats, just so you know. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I have that. You know what? If you put enough, uh, if you put enough like orange soda in a pool, you could, you could float a boat on it. True, true. Yeah, I'm, but I'm it, sure but Mark. Water. I'm sure Mark Roberts done that. I I am ASMR <laughs> to a degree of like like um. There's certain bands and there's certain singers that feel good in my head. Like I don't care about lyrics. Right. Music for me is different than you. I know you're all about lyrics and stuff. I'm about what it does to the insides of me. Like some right. songs and some voices and stuff. I'm like this just feels good. I don't care what you're talking about. Some ASMR is good to me. Yeah. But like I don't go seek it out. But if it's on sometimes, I'm just kind of like okay, this is this is okay. Depending on what you're doing, I don't like the chewing. I don't like the chewing that that creeps me out. I don't I don't like the chewing the ones where it's like the cars that are driving over top of things. Mm -hmm. That's I don't know. For me, it's I like it when they drive over paint and it has nothing to do with the sound and more to do with. I just like to see all the colors mixed together. That's it. Right. (laughs) I like um, I like the long nails like clack. Clack, oh yeah, I don't clack. like that either. Um, I like a little bit of the scratching things, like nope. you know. So I, I like, I like that stuff. So some of it, some of it feels good, but I don't seek it out. So Disney has what you can see now on Disney Plus. So if you guys have Disney Plus, you can check out what we're about to talk about here: Zenimation. 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 So it appears that they took a bunch of all, a bunch of their Disney IPs, and they yep. just turn up the volumes on certain clips. Yep. You know, I, I I saw in the trailer. There's like a, a clip of like a Moana, and there's uh-huh. she's surfing, and her hands in the is in the water, and it's just really loud of the water sounds and stuff like that. So I am interested in seeing who went to that board meeting on Monday, and was just like, look, here's what we need to do. Here's where Disney's going. Here's where Walt's dreams at. We need to do some sort of ASMR ish type thing. We'll package it as if it's just like nice clips and heightened sounds and stuff. Yeah. But it must be popular enough. You know, it's a whole channel on Twitch. You can go to the ASMR channel on Twitch and you can do that. There's could... so many channels of it on YouTube. Right. There's so many. Right. I have people all the time that beg me to make ASMR. Beg you. With my you'd dog. make, and you'd make so much money. But how do we do that, Jess? How do I go to your house and we get a, how do we do that? Right. Exactly. I feel like I'm in the industry. I don't want. Like, I've done a handful of, like, ASMR stuff that I, you know, that fit with what I was doing at the time. But to actually make a full channel where it's nothing but my dogs eating things and reacting to it and the sounds, I, you know, and props to whoever can do it. I could do it. I could film it. I could make the videos. I could make them fun. I couldn't edit them. I couldn't. that's That's where the line is. Like, for me, that's where it is. I could make the videos. I know they would be cute. I know people would love it, but I, that's so weird. Just a microphone I, next to the cat's bowl. It's so weird. <laughs> I, I just it. couldn't, I couldn't be the one to edit them. So if somebody yes. wants to edit some ASMR videos for me and really wants me to make a gone to the ASMR videos, I, that's so weird. <laughs> I would feel a little Larry, uh, I would feel a little Larry Flint. Is that his name? Yeah. I would feel I, like that for, a little bit. 
For me, I think the ASMR videos that like I would like are like people walking through the woods where you hear like the crunching of the leaves and snapping of sn- of sticks. But I would want the visual to go along with that. What are you looking at as you're walking through the woods? Right. I could watch that because it reminds me of you remember like when remember when you used to go to the store and they would have the little things with all the CDs with all the different you know here's thunder and lightning and here's this sound here's yes, the wind and here's yes, the ocean. Yes. Oh, That's don't what forget that reminds me of Celtic ba- Celtic bagpipes. Yes, yes. <laughs> like. That's what that reminds me of is like those type of nature sounds and things Mm -hmm. like that. Like I could get behind a nature sounds ASMR channel, but it would have to have the visuals. Like I couldn't just have the noise. It would have to have the visuals that match everything. But you're really old school if you have those old ASMR CDs. (laughs) That's right. That's right. Yeah. So I thought that was interesting. Way to go Disney Plus though. Like you got to, you know, you got to get on that trend. Just we didn't. We let it go by. No, it's still a thing. It's still it's a thing. It's still very much They a thing. have crazy microphones that have them have have the stereo speakers on both ends and rubber ears that go on them for people that are yep. touching and stuff. Yeah, so yeah. If, if you guys love it, I would recommend you guys going to twitch.tv and clicking on the ASMR channel because there's always people doing it live. There's always people doing it live. And I think it's just crazy. I don't know. I, I, it, 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 it's crazy. So let us know. Let us know if you're an ASMR fan or what you think of this. And if you want to see my cats or me eat a bunch of ASMR food. I mean, that would be funny. I'm I just not editing I don't know if it, I can do this. I don't know. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I don't know. It just, it just, it just, it just feels weird. It just feels weird. All right. I know we got to need to get out of here. Let me see if I have anything more on my agenda tonight. No, nope, it looks make like some, some, some potato soup in the instant pot. Is that what you're gonna make? I'm gonna actually use my uh, instant pot tonight too. I'm gonna make broccoli rice cheesy stuff and some chicken i am making loaded baked potato soup Ooh, that's gonna be good i've hit nothing but home runs with my instapot i don't even know how to cook me neither Mm -hmm. if you guys look look at all this homework i'm giving everybody at home if you guys have any rad instapot recipes that are in the instapot let us know let us know my favorite one is the stew i make really good stew in the instant pot and i don't even like stew but i can make it in the instant pot like that yeah yeah, never has my stuff been more evenly cooked than Gee, the after Instapot. all that time of you making fun of me for using that magic Instant Pot, now look at you. Look at you. I love it. I want the smaller Instant I want, like, the three-quart Instant Pot. I want the right? smaller one so I can just make a Tell one stuff. Oh, that guy. Him and I aren't seeing eye to eye. Although I did go to, you know, I went through his town when we went camping. So maybe we so. did. Sure did. <laughs> all right, Jesse, uh, you got anything else to say before we wrap this up? I don't think. So I uploaded a video on Arcade Snow Dogs. That's right. Were you unpackaged? Oh, do, should we tell them or should we make them go see it? They should just go see it. Yes, youtube.com slash Arcade Snow Dog. Jess has been dabbling for the last little bit about whether she should bring that uh, channel back or not. And honestly, the real talk is just going to have to do with how many people watch it. Yeah. You know, if it it's... was fun. I, I had fun making mm-hmm. the video. I, I will say when I went to Meyer today to go get um, the stuff to make dinner, I went back in the toy section. I didn't buy anything, but I'm like, I could possibly get back into it if I do more of like the blind bag unboxing and the fun with the dogs and stuff like that. But right. I don't know how much of the video gaming I would actually get back into because I just don't. You just don't have time for that. I don't. But then, you know, Nintendo opened up their properties and now you can stream Nintendo games again. And I that was what I wanted to do a long time ago. So right. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, it's on. it's it's. Yeah, we could play Catan. <laughs> I would totally do. We played Cat- I played Catan on, and streamed it before. I opened up Catan on my Switch earlier today, just uh, when I was waiting for Blake to get a haircut, and I forgot all yeah. the rules, so I didn't know what to do. It just showed me the overhead view of the map, and then I just exited out. <laughs> You're gonna have to refresh my refresh my mind again. So yeah, yep. check out Arcade Snow Dogs, and you can watch Jess uh, unboxing some videos. I love the format of it. I love how uh, informal it was. Yeah, you know, you're yeah. Always, you're that's always... pretty much what it always was for me right. too. It was just an informal video. Well, maybe this will be a new playground for you, just to just to have fun, like like uh, TikTok was before it got super popular. How many TikTok <laughs> subscribers do you have? Um, I don't know, six hundred and sixty three thousand. Dang, everything you touch I is think. gold. Yeah, you'd think so, but I mean, not really. <laughs> I mean, you're right, right. <laughs> things being gold and things bringing you money, two different things. All right? Yeah, six hundred and sixty three thousand. I was right. Perfect. All right, that's it. Let's let's wrap it up. Thank you, everybody, for uh, listening to our show. Uh, You can see a live version of the CC Mouse podcast coming up when, Jess? Thursday? Do we want to change it to Monday? 
We could change it to Monday. I think Mondays are going to be, I think Mondays will be better. It'll Let's be less do... confusing because the video version of this goes up. Wednesday. On Wednesday. And then we have a live version Thursday. And people at yeah. home still can't differentiate okay. between the fact that we're not live right this second versus live. Right. Even on the food review video that I put up today, people right. were like, oh my gosh, this is live and I missed it. I'm like, no, no, it's not live. It is not. So do you want to officially announce that it's going to be Mondays and try it for Monday? Monday. Monday. Yeah, let's do it. Monday, that. check us out on CC Mouse Podcast on YouTube, but we will do a live stream, which hopefully won't confuse you any further all right that'll do it for this week's episode of the cc boss podcast listen to us every wednesday on your favorite music app interact with us on facebook instagram youtube patreon at cc mouse podcast we'll see you guys next week same mouse time same mouse podcast and as we say bye i'm gonna punch jess up on one here so we can see how cute your dogs are she's way over there i don't think uh i don't think you heard that but kira just burped directly into the microphone so there's some asmr for you she's classy she's classy (laughs) you guys have to play that back to see if you can hear it all right bye everybody bye (laughs) yay we did a thing we did we've done 91 things now even though my dog was crazy the entire episode yes i love it